Now, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful navigation menu to this home page. So, I'm going to open my explorer and inside this imports, here I'm going to create a new component. So, inside it, I'm going to create a component called header.jsx. So, I'm going to create my header component inside this imports. I'm going to simply first create a React functional component and inside that, here, I'm going to get it out this division tag and specify here header as a wrapper. Just out of that, inside it, I'm going to create a nav tag to create a navigation menu. And then I'm going to specify some bootstrap classes to it. So I'm going to specify here class name. Then I'm going to specify nav bar, nav bar, expand LG. Then I'm going to specify nav bar light and primary gradient. And then I'm going to call shadow class. Save this file. Just out of that, inside this now, I'm going to add my website name or you can say my website logo. So here I'm going to simply add an anchor tag. Now, as you know, because we are using browser router module, now I can use link component instead of using the anchor tag. When you click on the anchor tag, it will reload the browser and navigate you to the different page. But when you use link component, it will not going to reload your browser, but still it will going to navigate you through different pages. So I'm going to get rid of this anchor tag byte from here and use here link component. So at the top, here I'm going to first import a component called link. And this component is coming from a module called React Router DOM. So from this module, you can access the component called link. And I'm going to get that component here. So I'm going to say here link. And inside this link, I'm going to simply add H5 heading tag and specify here mon stack application. Let me save the changes. I'm not going to get anything here because I don't have this header component inside my app.js. So inside my app.js, you can notice I have this home component. So I'm going to open my home.js. Before this division tag right here, if I add here import statement, and if I add here my component header from imports, and inside that, I'm going to call this header. And if I just call this header right here, like this, then I'm going to get an error message because you don't have any wrapper to this return statement. To do that, you can just simply use the empty angle bracket like this. And just down here, you need to specify the closing empty angle bracket. That will just wrap all these JSX. Let me save this file. As you can see, you have your navigation menu here. Instead of just adding here division tag, I'm going to put this div inside a main component because this is the home page. I'm going to add all the content inside a main tag right here. Inside a main, I'm going to grab this div and specify that here. Now, just for that, once I put my home page inside this main component, let me just remove this unwanted styling from here. So I'm going to back to my app.js and you can notice here inside this app.js, I still have this login ID and this division tags. Instead of adding this inside this app.js, I can put that inside my login and my registration file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the login.js and you can notice here inside that I have this login and this container. So I'm going to get rid of this login and this container with this row class right from here. I'm going to get rid of this division tags as well. If you can notice inside my register, I'm going to have my login, container, and row. Let me save this file. As you can see, I'm going to have my home page now. Now, let me just back to the home.js and let me create this header. So I'm going to open the header.jsx and here to this link, I'm going to specify some bootstrap classes. So to this link, I'm going to first specify class name and I'm going to specify here now link brand and save the changes. You can notice I'm going to have that bootstrap styling to this link and then I'm going to specify MX auto. Just out of that, to this H5 heading tag, here I'm going to specify some classes. So I'm going to specify here text light and then I'm going to specify M0, margin 0. That will just change the color of this H5 heading tag. You will not see anything here because the background of this navbar is white. When I change and specify gradient color to this navigation bar, you will see your title. So let me just get rid of this class name from here. I'm going to add that after a few minutes. So inside this link tag, right down here, I'm going to add a button. And to this button, I'm going to specify i tag. 
inside the i tag i'm going to specify class name class if a bars now this will going to add the bar icon inside my project you can notice so just out of that i'm going to specify here class name to this button and i'm going to specify class name now bar toggler and then i'm going to specify type which is going to be button then i'm going to specify some bootstrap attributes just like data toggle data toggle is going to be collapse and data target is going to be now bar now you can notice i specify here hash and just out of that at the end i'm going to specify area expanded is going to be false now these all are bootstrap attributes you will get this navigation menu from the bootstrap website so let me just save the changes you can notice i'm not going to get my toggle button here when the viewport is greater than the medium size of devices when the viewport is less than that you can notice i'm going to have the toggle button here so this will just make your application responsive now just for that just out of this button right down here i'm going to add a division tag again and to this div i'm going to specify some classes so i'm going to specify here collapse now bar collapse i'm going to add this collapse class and to this button i have here a data toggle property collapse just out of that i'm going to specify id to this division tag i'm going to specify here id when you click on this button i want to collapse the navigation menu this division tag inside this button you can notice i have here a data target now now bar brand i'm going to copy this id and specify that right here just out of that inside this div here i'm going to add ul tag with the class name and i'm going to specify class name now bar now inside this ul i'm going to create li tag with some classes so i'm going to specify here class name it is going to be now item and active inside this li i'm going to create a simple text called logout let me save this file you can notice i'm going to have this text here just after this title now what i want i want to move this logout button to the right side of this navigation bar so to do that before this ul tag right up here i'm going to add an empty div with the class name called me auto when i save the changes you can notice i'm going to have my logout button here now just for that once i have my logout button and the title of my website let me specify color to this navigation bar so as you can notice here to this now bar i have a class name called primary gradient i'm going to use that and specify gradient color to this now bar so i'm going to open my app.scss if you want you can specify the styling inside your login.scss file as well but i'm going to specify that inside this app.scss so here i'm going to first create a class called primary gradient and then i'm going to specify the background and to this background i'm going to first specify the fallback value now sometimes your browser not support the gradient color that is why i'm going to specify this property background let me save this file just out of that i'm going to specify the background property again and here i'm going to use liner gradient function and inside that i'm going to specify color to this navbar so i'm going to say here to right then i'm going to specify the hex value to the second parameter right here and then i'm going to specify the hex value to the third parameter right here let me save this file as you can see i'm going to have the color to my navbar at the end i'm going to change the color of the text so i'm going to just back to the header and to this h5 heading tag here i'm going to specify text light save the changes just for that if you want you can specify light color to this logout button as well so if i just put this logout inside h4 heading tag like this i can just simply specify class name here text light when i save the changes that will just specify light color to this logout button instead of using this h4 here i'm going to create a dedicated file for this logout so in the next lecture we'll move further